Okay, in this video we're going to look at using the QuickTime control to be able to show a movie, a video or a sound file. We're going to embed this within our Word document. Now, the problem with using the Apple QuickTime controller, which we're going to look at here, is that when we create a document, we'll get a security warning. So what we have to do first, um, when we open up a document that has a QuickTime object put in it, is we're going to always have to tick on Options, and then we're going to have to uh, approve the security. So let me tick on that here. We're going to enable the content, and then we can begin. So I've already installed things that I want to have in this document here. It's very useful to be able to have your video on the network or to have it on the internet. It's your choice. If it's going to be on a network and you're going to pass the file around, of course, it must be a mapped drive with the same drive letter so that the Word document can find the correct path through to the object. So we're going to use this as with a .move or a .mp3 uh, file and we can either have it as a video and here I've got a video sitting here and the advantage of this is that we have a, a play button uh, or we can have an audio file which comes out just as the single play button. We, we have a volume control in the side here. Very simple to be able to do. Uh, we can play our movie. You can see that's operating in there and we can play the audio file uh, which will start playing in. Okay, let's have a look at how we're going to do this. So we're going to use the Developer tab. If you have not used the Developer tab, uh, you will need to insert the Developer tab across the top ribbon here, going through the Start Word Options, and make sure you have the Developer tab ticked there. So we go to the Developer tab, and as always, we're going into this Controls area, the Legacy Tools. Click on that and we want this extra more control. We get the more controls set and usually the Apple QuickTime object is right at the top here so we're able to click on this. OK and it inserts an object for us. And then we're going to right click on it and properties or we could use the properties control up here either of these will do and it brings up our screen in which we're going to be putting in the URL and what we're looking for is a URL here. I'm going to close that and close, delete this one here because I've already got my one set up over here. So the, for the movie that I've got set here, this has disappeared because I'm in design mode, we can't see that part at the moment. Uh, we have uh, a screen capture here and you can see I've got a URL to a website for my test movie. And in the same way, when I want to have an audio file, I just put a URL in again into an MP3 file. So as long as your path is correct, the two will turn up in their correct location. 